When one speaks about Trinidad and Tobago football, unfortunately, three words come to mind. Greed, corruption, and lies. This was supposed to be the dawn of a new era for Trinidad and Tobago football. William Wallace was elected last year, and everything at least appeared to be going in a good direction. Sure, they had the political antics, but you know, who doesn't have that? Unfortunately, it has gone from bad to worse. With the FIFA Normalization Committee having to step in to wipe the slate clean, to start things from scratch. With Mr. Haddad being hired to be the head of the Normalization Committee, and also many people agreeing, disagreeing, and now corruption, accusations of lies and deception being thrown around aimlessly all over the place. Unfortunately, the message that's been sent is that anyone can say whatever they want. And it seems as if for fans of the game like us, who are not affiliated with any political people or don't care about these agendas and just want our football to be okay, have nothing to smile about. Unfortunately, this is the reality that we face. Also, the message that's been sent and goes over the heads of many of these guys is that the youth of the country are no longer paying attention. All these things that are being said are just showing how unprofessional they are and the bad example that's being set. We are trying to do things the right way and usually we do things that are focused on positive and light-hearted but every once in a while we cannot look away. Today we're going to speak about the issues and also deal with factual statements. An official statement from Peter Miller, one of the many guys involved in this storm, was given to us and we're going to speak about that and let you all hear what he has to say and give your comments. So let's check it out. So hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Extra Time TV. As I said at the beginning, this is a statement right here from Peter Miller. But before I start, I want to let you all know that we deal with factual statements here. We do not deal with hearsay. I've been getting a lot of forwards of a bunch of nonsensical uh, foolishness from people who just have agendas. And it sends a bad message to the youth of this country when our adults act like this. Um, none of it is factual, and we're not gonna repeat, you know, foolish statements on this channel. So this is an authentic statement from Peter Miller. For those of you who don't know who he is, he is the guy who has been who has been tasked at the time to be in charge of the marketing of Trinidad Tobago and also the agent of the head coach of Trinidad Tobago, Terry Fennick. So let's take a look at the statement here. So it goes like this. I'm only speaking out now because I know there are so many inconsistencies being thrown around by individuals who apparently still want to run things. Hmm. Trust has irrev irrevitably been broken down because of the public backbiting that has been going on and I'm sure that's not been lost on FIFA. William Wallace has been thrown under the bus for denying stuff, but he's not the only one. Everyone involved knows Keith Lockloy took a controlling influence on just about every aspect of TTFE operations, whether they liked it or not. Th so his persistent claims of ignorance and non-involvement in key issues when it suits him are completely inconceivable. His strong words. Take the Arima Velodrome project for example. He recently claimed no knowledge of it and strenuously refuted any suggestions made by the Guardian newspaper sports editor Keith Clement that he had business dealings with me. The fact is I have a series of emails that were sent to senior officials including him which outline the ongoing project plans and discussions. I've also got records of a stream of direct text conversations between him and me where we are discussing the project and its options. At one point he even approached the mayor of Arima Borough Court Council Lisa Morris Julian about his club side Santa Rosa playing there and he and I talked about how it might work as well as some options around future investment of Santa Rosa. This is very interesting. It goes on to say, the next thing I know, he's denying all knowledge. So I'm just reminding you all, this is an official statement from Peter Miller himself. This is the same man who just publicly disowned William Wallace because he was deceitful. It's a sad state of affairs because I truly believe that this, the, the new leadership had genuine intentions of making a difference. But the internal politicking, the level of deceit and the consistent leaking of information from inside the TTFA on a regular basis has effectively brought the house down. Now, I have always speak to, well, spoke, spoken about the leaking of information. Um, whether, you know, 
we like it or not. If you have an organization that's very small and the information keeps coming out, you have to wonder where it's coming from. Anyway, moving along. So I don't see any way the association can move forward without a complete clean sweep and FIFA's direct assistance. So basically, he's agreeing with the normalization committee because I've always stated this before. I know many people in Toronto Tobago football. Everybody has differing opinions. There's different cliques. But unfortunately, the best interest of the game seems to come secondary. It seems as if the narrative is, if I'm not in charge, no one else is going to be in charge. That seems like the narrative. So, moving along. The need for FIFA to use its global expertise and status is needed like never before. FIFA is the only immediate option if commercial organizations, authorities and government are to have any confidence in the future of football in Trinidad and Tobago. So there we have it, folks. You know, that's that's a very, very powerful statement. Um, I'll probably put it up on our website in a little while. But this just goes to show you that, you know, a lot of things are being said about Peter Miller and Terry Fennick and William Wallace. And whether you agree or not, that's not the point. One of the issues we are facing here is that the people that are making these accusations, and this is something that's been happening before, are seemingly no better than what they're accusing people of. And we are doing this in a respectful way. If anybody has opinions, you all are free to reach out to us, just like Peter did. And if you have something to say, let's do things the right way. Let's, 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 let's change things around. Because this is not how we do things. And Peter, unfortunately, you know... Uh, seems to have had no choice but to come out and, ma and make this statement because this is what we do in Trinidad Tobago football, unfortunately. And as fans of the game, you know, you sit down, you know, me and my friends, you know, we sit down and we reminisce on the good times and the more and more we learn about the corruption in football, it also really breaks our hearts. But it's also, it's very important for the knowledge to have factual information and not propaganda-based information. You know, whether you disagree or agree with this statement or not is irrelevant. The fact is this word came officially from Peter himself. It is cited and verified information. And it raises many questions about how we do things in Trinidad and Tobago. Many people seem to be going into this thing where let's cut each other's throats, backstab each other and see where the chips fall. And this does not help our football. You know, this, this just simply does not help our football. As a fan, you know, it's very difficult for me to be positive we had this COVID-19 virus that had us quarantined you know everybody was excited I had you know I had this uh, recent campaign with esports to really spice things up because the country needs that unity and if we don't do things the right way unfortunately our football is at a very critical point and I have to say this and you can respectfully comment in the comment section below I'm going to listen to everyone you know but we deal with factual statements here I'm not going to go around with hearsay and gossip. This is not a gossip show, a gossip blog, a gossip vlog, or a gossip site. This is the official statement from Peter Miller himself. Many issues have been raised about Terry Fennick's contract. I've been getting messages from people to speak about this particular issue. And I, as a fan, would like to ask this question to you guys out there. The fans. Not the people involved in football, but the fans of the game. We've all been watching this game. I am, fortunately, I was a kid when the strike squad just missed out on the World Cup, but I remember it very clearly. I remember the sadness on that day, even as a child. I saw the ups and downs. I felt the happiness of us making it to 2006 at the World Cup. You know, that game against Mexico with Stephen Hart, our highs. But I also saw our lows. And I have to ask you all this question. With each administration, whether you support whoever you support, that's not the issue. These issues seem to keep coming up over and over again. Why is that? Each time there's a particular person in power, there's someone else preaching that this is not the way. And then when they get in, it's another issue. You know, there's an issue of consistent corruption, slander, and even if there are good people, they usually are torn to shreds. So as I said, you know, let me know your statements. Let me know your thoughts about this particular thing. This is a statement that is very powerful and it's a very decisive statement because he is saying that he believes FIFA needs to come in and I have always said this you can go and look at my tweets we need a fresh start we can't unfortunately there are good people who may be you know caught in the rubble of this 
but we need fresh new people that are not affiliated with the previous organizations. We know there are lots of people who love this game and really care about this game, but you could also care about something and even be to its own detriment. You know, to use a bad analogy, you know, it's like an abusive husband or wife, you know. The very thing, a lot of these abusive people care about the people that they're abusing, but they simply are not aware of the damage that they're doing. The corruption has gone on unchecked, and the people that are supposed to be contesting the corruption are also of questionable values. So we have to ask ourselves, do we need a clean slate? Are innocent people be, being torn to shreds? Have we become a gossip nation where whoever is in charge gets attacked by whoever is not in charge? Is this a symptom of how our overall country does things? Our political climate? This is, this is, this is some interesting stuff. So as I said, that was an official statement from Peter Miller himself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment in the comment section below. I'm going to speak about this particular topic with many other people in the next coming days. So be sure to stay tuned. If you have something to say, do it respectfully. Send me an email if you want to have some. If you want to have a statement where we speak about it, send an email at extratimetvtt at gmail.com. We need to fix our football. It needs to be cleansed. So whether you agree or disagree, that is okay. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So once again, this is Andres Okla. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and on Twitch for the gamers out there. And let us know your thoughts. Because I'll end on this. There's a generation of kids, or dare I say two generations of kids, that don't know who these people are. The empty stadiums speaks volumes. Thank you very much. Yes. Just a reminder everyone, for more episodes, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more updates, interviews and content.